Welcome to another tutorial from Igloo Imaging. This one is on the Width tool. I did this tutorial years and years ago when the Width tool came out, but this is just an updated version with Illustrator CC 2018. So this is the kind of thing we're going to produce today. It's just a vine with some other vines coming off and leaves and that kind of thing. So I'm going to move that one up to the top, shrink it down. We're in Illustrator, the artboard, you make it any size you like, it's vector based, you can always change the size of your graphics. We're going to start with a spiral. It's probably hidden under the line tool, so if you hold down the line tool, go to the spiral tool, drag and hold, and depending on what your presets are, it'll look something like that. If you then hold command and drag in and out, it changes the distance between the spirals. If you hold, if you tap the up, cursor it makes it go in further if you tap down it brings it back out so we want somewhere um, about there hold command somewhere out there probably in a bit too far that's good so when you let go of that it's a live path at the minute it's got no stroke or fill so we'll just put black on because my outboard's quite big, thicken up the weight. So that's what we've got. Now if we zoom in, we can see that the ends are flat. And depending on the effect that you want, when you're in stroke, you can turn them to rounded ends. Um, but for this effect, we're gonna use the width tool straight off the bat, and it's over here. Now it could be under the warp tool, bloat tool, any of these tools, but it's the top one, width tool. Shift W is the shortcut to it. So you can see it's got a little wavy line under the cursor. And if you go to the end point, you click and drag, so you can see it's coming fatter, evenly round to the end, the other end, which is still quite the same stroke. So drag that into a point and let go. Go to this end and drag it out to about there. So let's have a look and see if that's about right. That's about right for what we want. If you want to go back and make changes, Shift W is the shortcut again. You just go back and make amends. And it evenly distributes the weight all the way down to a point. You can do it anywhere along the line, but as you can see, it will then go thick to thin. So we'll stick with this. So the next thing we're gonna do with the width tool is draw a little leaf. So start with an ellipse, draw yourself a little oval, switch the stroke to a fill, and then select this top point, so press A, and select that top point, press P, which is your pen tool, then hover over this mark, and you don't want to get rid of it, you don't want the minus, you want to press Alt, so it changes to a V, upside down V, click that, and it just gets rid of the, um, the bounding boxes, and then with A, select these two middle points, and bring this down a bit gets a little leaf shape. There we go. Put this guy down a bit. And now we're going to use the pen tool, so P, and we're going to draw just a little curve. And this is going to make up the vein of the, the central leaf. So again, pull your black over to your stroke and knock out your um, fill color. Go back to the width tool. Drag this one out quite away for this bit and you can drag the end out and just put it to a point. That's probably about right. Now we're gonna expand this. So to object, expand, and it makes one solid object. Shrink it down a bit, move it kind of there. Select both, so press V, drag over both, and then you want Pathfinder. In Pathfinder, you're gonna take the front from the back. And there we go, we've got a little leaf. And shrink that down. If you hold Alt, click and drag, it just copies it. So make a little leaf friend. Now V over the two of them and press Command G, which groups them together. And then they both can shrink down. So let's have a look where we're going to put these leaves. Put them wherever you like. Again, Alt, drag, copies it. 
there's a rotate tool and a reflect tool. If you double click reflect horizontally, it'll flip it around. So then you can just rotate these, make these bigger, so it looks like a, a bit of variation. Even drag these around, flip it. Let's have a look, make this one smaller. And then let's do one right in the end. So with A, select one of the leaves and you want Command C, Command V, and just copies and pastes. Shrink this one down and position it just over the end. About right, yeah. Drag the, press V, drag the cursor over everything, and press Command G. So that's given us one of our Vines. We're going to draw the central vine. So press pen tool P, start with a point, click hold, drag a curve out, click hold, drag a curve. Select it, drag your colour over to a stroke, get rid of your fill, and again back to the width tool. Let's find the centre, pull this out to about there. Zoom in on these points. You can see when you get right and close that they're still flat. So oh, get the end, drag it to a point. If you've got your navigator open, just click on the other end there. And you grab that, that's it. Drag that shut, go back out. Select this bad boy, drag him down. Let's see, that, that, that was nice. And then you want V, and then you want Alt, and drag and copy it. Flip him around. Him over there somewhere, maybe shrink him a touch, move him into place. That's good. On that one, I just put another one in there, so I'll do that. I'll flip it, give it a bit of variation. And once you've got these vines hang of these vines you can just repeat this kind of process for any any sort of patterns like this and there you go that's about it thanks for watching if it was helpful please like or subscribe see you soon